It's time for Sound Bites on Magic 105.5 WMGH and at WMGH.com. We feature local bands and musicians. If you know anyone interested in getting their music on the air, call me, Kim Knoll, at the station at 570-645-2105. Sound Bites is brought to you by the Tamaqua Community Arts Center, 125 Pine Street in Tamaqua. Auditions will be held at the Tamaqua Community Arts Center, 125 Pine Street, Tamaqua, for Avenue Q. Audition dates are April 7th, 6 to 8 p.m., April 8th, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., and April 9th, 2 to 4 p.m. Come prepared to sing and read monologue. Some roles require the learning of puppetry. Avenue Q is an adult comedy with suggestive themes and language. The show dates for the performance of Avenue Q will be June 9th and 10th. For more info, call the Tamaqua Community Arts Center at 570-668-1192 or visit tamaquaarts.org. Welcome to Sound Bites. I am Kim Knoll, and we are so honored to have with us a very special guest today. I'm going to have you introduce yourself and tell us who you are. Okay, what's going on? My name is Matt McAndrew. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you, Matt McAndrew, and I understand that you were a performer on The Voice. Yeah, it was a really fun experience for me. One of the most fun things I've ever gotten to do. A good friend of mine had suggested that I try out, and he kind of talked me into it, and then I saw that they were having auditions in Philly, so I just kind of gave it a shot, and it worked out. All right, so pretty much that's been a life-changing experience for you, huh? 100%. Yeah, yeah, it's really amazing how much it changed my life, and it's been an interesting ride. It was kind of an unexpected thing that happened for mm -hmm. me in my life, and it's been really good to me since. All right. Well, that's fantastic. Matt, tell me a little bit about where you're from and how you got involved in music and what all you do musically. Sure. I grew up in New Jersey on Long Beach Island, if anybody's familiar with that. Mm -hmm. I was just playing music in bands and singing and playing guitar and stuff, and then I went to college in Philadelphia at University of the Arts, and I studied voice. And I kind of went more like a solo route, and I was just doing kind of folky stuff, and then I put a band behind me, and I was just playing for a while. And I've gone through a bunch of different incarnations musically, and every phase I go through is kind of centered around trying to learn uh, like a different skill better, trying to hone in on a different aspect of creating a song. That's great. What kind of music do you do? I would say like singer-songwriter pop. Do you write your own music, Matt? Yeah, I do. I, I write my own stuff, and I, I've also been doing a lot of co-writing, which is really fun. Um, a lot of times when you're writing by yourself, it can kind of get a little boring or a little stale, and writing with somebody else kind of livens it up. Yeah, that makes sense. So how long ago were you on The Voice, and tell me how that has impacted your life. I was on The Voice end of 2014. It impacted my life most notably, like it gave me a career in the entertainment world. Before mm -hmm. that, I was working at a grocery store, <laughs> teaching music to kids. Wow. And I was playing music, you know, all the time and putting out records and playing live, but I just, I just wasn't making any money, and I, I would have never had the opportunity maybe to do so mm -hmm. otherwise, or it would have taken a lot longer. So that's been really cool. Mm -hmm. So now you're able to do your music full-time, and do you travel the country? Yeah, I wound up traveling a lot. I think there was a good maybe two years where I wasn't ever any place longer than like two months at a time. That'd be like a long stretch for me, and... um I'm based in L.A. Uh, I also spent a good bit of time the past year in Nashville, and then I'll go back home to the East Coast, Philly, and New York. All right. That sounds fantastic. And I do understand, speaking of back home, we're kind of in your region. You are coming to our area very soon, and we're so excited to have you. Can you tell us a little bit about that performance? I'll be performing at the Tamaqua Community Arts Center. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Somebody reached out to me about doing it, and it just so happens I was going to be in town for that week. I'm always looking to break into new little markets and connect with fans that I haven't connected with. I know a lot of people listening have saw you on The Voice and they're familiar with your music, but what can they expect when they go to the Art Center and they hear you live? Well, live I've been having a lot of fun recently just playing solo, me and my guitar, and I have a little loop station. kind of got inspired by looping. So some of the set is just very kind of senior songwritery, and then other bits I'll try to build up with a loop for everyone's amusement, myself included. <laughs> if you're familiar with me, you'll definitely hear a couple of songs I did on the show, original songs, and maybe some new covers I'm excited about, or some obscure songs that I wish more people knew, or okay. whatever, but it'll mm -hmm. be good. 
pretty much something for everybody, right? Yeah, I think so. I try to showcase my singing at the forefront of what I do, so it'll be fun. I'll be up there blabbering and playing. <laughs> that is awesome. So people can call to get their tickets from the Tamako Community Arts Center. That number is 570-668-1192. And your show, Matt McAndrew, is coming up on April 15th, right before Easter Sunday. Yes. Exactly right. All right. (laughs) That sounds really good. If somebody wants more information about you, if they want to maybe hear some of your music or find out about upcoming show dates, how can they get a hold of you? Sure. Kind of just like a one-stop shop is mattmcandrewmusic.com. I'm also on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Spotify, yada, yada. That is so cool. So, Matt, we are now going to play a song by you. It is called Wasted Love. How did that song come about? So this is a song I got to sing the finale of my season of The Voice. It was kind of a song that just was given to me and, and I really connected with, and a lot of people connected with it too, and it's been a favorite since then. And this is a new version I did on my last EP called Russian Slowly. Um, mm-hmm. It's just me and a piano kind of a different take on it okay great so we're going to play that now matt mcandrew from the voice thank you so much for joining us for sound bites and we look forward to seeing you in tamaqua in a few weeks all right sounds good i will see you then
been listening to our interview with a local musician. This is Sound Bites on Magic 105.5 WMGH and at WMGH.com. Sound Bites has been brought to you by the Tamaqua Community Arts Center. Call 570-668-1192.